is he? He's not another Peter Wright. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. No, first set, like first Peter set, John no, to Rufers. Good evening, Peter, if you're watching. Right. Let's see how Sean Burt can settle into this match. What a great start. Well, that's not too shabby. So I'm not really uh, seeing him practice in the back room, but that's a lovely action he's got. He beat Dawson, 80. the shell, the former PDC card holder in the final of the Klondike Open, which is one of the performances which ensured that he got his place over here in these championships. 45. Well, you might have heard in that interview a little bit earlier, his uh, young sons, Kevin and Luke, will be watching on at home and hoping that Dad has not made the long journey in vain. 57. Yeah, some tough decisions these days for these dart players. Proper global sport now. If you want the rewards, you've got to do the travelling. Indeed. 140. He's made a, a really good start to this match. On throw. Looks nice and relaxed, but early days. And Conor 63. Scott, we know, can be a very heavy scorer when he's in the mood. Heavy scorer, he's a heavy finisher as well. He doesn't respect, well, that's probably the wrong word, but he doesn't fear anyone. He respects everyone, but he doesn't fear any single player on the planet. He's so full of confidence. He says he got the darts bug when he was in his late teens. He used to practice with his brother a lot. And then it went one step to another. And he got to the stage Showing where he was beating his brother fairly regularly. <laughs> 93. That ends the first point. Looking at treble 14. He's got it for double 16. Game shot on the first leg. That, that, that is a good leg of darts. Second leg corner to throw first. Game on. Start to his uh, late side future. Normally just take a couple of legs to get into it though. But what a great start from Bert. Yeah, it's uh, going to certainly settle those nerves when you came in. When you come, I mean, well, you must, you must know. One I'm sure you've hundred. done it many a time. But when you walk out there and your first dart goes straight in the treble twenty, that's a, a nice feeling. It's got to be. No better feeling in the world. But he, look, he looked confident and happy on his walk on as well. He did. His debut, he looked like he'd been there a dozen times already. It was nice to see. We've seen a couple of people uh, sort of freeze on the debut, but uh, he's enjoying the he's enjoying the, the experience already. Twenty-eight. Don't quite enjoy the twenty-eight as much as some of his earlier visits. What's that about? He says and just says, "Come on." and that to that come on just just shrug it off and forget it move on to the next three 95 you can't change what's gone you can only change what's coming mm -hmm. 60 it's <coughs> got on the darts here on throw Looking well placed to hold his throw. 45. Not ideal. He's on 170. But Bert's away back. 41. What do you think of his throw, Tony? 170. Well, the first, uh, the first leg. He's got a real good action. Solid. It's a tidy this up, Scott. 94. Nicely done. Trouble 20, double eight. Ideally, when he returns. 100. Connor, you require 76. That technique is a pretty straightforward. 
76 needed. 16 would leave tops. He's got it. So tops. Game shot on the second leg. Scott squares up the match. Oh, all in Third leg. First Sean leg on the board. First. They've both done Game it on. now. Maybe they'll relax a bit and show us what they can really do. He's been playing some awesome darts the last couple of years as a young Connor. Pretty brave decision to change your darts just before the World Championships, though. But he obviously likes them. He's been practicing with them for a few weeks. Ninety-six. the uh, Simon Whitlock dart that he played with a few years ago. What, Connors or Sean? Connors. On, Connor. I said there was new darts, I think they're a prototype, so probably not the finished article, but that's the confidence in the man. They're not quite the, uh, not quite the board destroyers that uh, Simon uses. <laughs> uses those uh, rough tipped darts and really marks up a, a darts board. Yeah, the, the equipment side of things now in darts is, is crazy. There's so many. There's literally hundreds, maybe thousands of different, different types of points. And when I first started, I just threw the darts away with the points. You didn't change points. It, it was an unheard of when I first started playing. Some people change points weekly. They have proper feathers when you started playing. Yes, with little red weights around the bottom of them. Yes. Little French darts. <laughs> I threw some of them. Dart and filling it up. 140. Oh, it's got a slight lead, but Connor's uh, in the driving seat here. He's a couple of them. And he's well in the driving seat now. Trouble 19, leaving 36. What a brilliant cover shot that was. And you can hear what his fans in the audience here make of that one. They are delighted. And Bert's throw 44. looks as though it is set to be broken. Well, Double 18. An all important break. Game shot in the third leg. Connor Scott. Warming into the game nicely, John. Sniper Scott. Fourth leg, Connor to throw Plenty first. Of friends and game family on. around here. All shouting their support. Be a very popular winner if you were to actually go on and win this trophy this week. And he's got, I tell you what, he's got potentially the sort of talent and the sort of application to go a long way in darts. Yeah, as I said, he's got good people around him. 60. Sort of a roadmap already for his career. Looking bright. Got to the final of the British Open last year, Connor, beaten by Scott Marsh in the final. Yeah, that victory was the uh, one of the golden ticket events. Scott 96. Marsh playing later in the week. He was a plumber, wasn't he, Connor? He used to work with his dad. Not sure he doesn't still. Uh, he still does bits and bobs, but um, I think he'll be uh, he'll be busy 60. on the hockey for the next few years. <laughs> Speak of the devil, there he is, above the sniper flag, his dad. A very proud dad as well. As well he might be. Son doing rather well right now. Holds this leg, takes this leg, and Connor Scott will win the first set. Best of three, remember. And there is a maximum. Beautifully done. And he turned to look at his fans at the moment that that went in. A happy boy and a confident boy. It wasn't exactly a blind 180, but I think he knew it was 60. going in as it left the hand. Go on, you require 104. For the set then. Oh, great dart. Tops needed. 84. Well, he was disappointed there because that was uh, perfectly produced darts to set that up no finish for Bert 
So Scott will be back needing double ten. 83. And that'll be for the first set, John. Corner you require 20. Scott's averaging 91 in this first set. Double five. Oh, hello. That's missed by a way. 10. Sean, you require 102. I'm sure Bert didn't expect a shot at this. But to stay in the first set, he needs it. One or two. 82. He's got it. Tops. Well, what about that? Line. That is a Shoot. real steal. Connor Scott had that one in the bag, and you can see just how much that means to Sean Burt. Fifth leg, Sean to throw first. Raw emotion, Tony. Oh, this is why we love the darts. Game on. That lovely finish. I mean, he set it up well as well, the, the one or two. In the driving seat here, but needs a good start, which he's getting. We thought that Connor Scott was just about home and hosed in that uh, in that leg, heading his way towards the first set. But as you say, you never know, and things can change so quickly in this wonderfully addictive sport. Eighty-one. The whole game's turned around on just nine darts between them. The adrenaline will be coursing through his veins, through his body. He's got to 64. stay focused and stay calm. But he's put himself in with a great chance, the Canadian. He did start the leg, so slight advantage. Connor's not really uh, eating 60. into that lead. Well, a lead of 55 plus these. Bearing down on a potential finish. Terrific first start. Oh, 137. Shot as well. He told us he was throwing well, Tony. Yeah. I don't suppose anybody, when a microphone's in front of them, says, actually, I'm throwing rubbish, John. But he, uh, he really did have that look of confidence about him. Well, that was right from the, the walk on, to be honest. He's backed it up. He's in again. Thinks. 100. Likes to stay on the 20s and leaves himself 78 for that opening set. And I think Connor is shocked. Yeah, 46. Home, home and hose. That Showing set. you require 78. Sort of highwayman behaviour, wasn't it? 78. Double 12. Double 6. 66. Mm. He'll be back there. Scotty is not on a finish. Oh dear. 45. And he's still not on a finish. Sean, you require 12. Double 6. Coming down for threes. And now in bits. No score. Lex to break it and leave it on the double six. And thanks to that. What did he get? 45 last time up. Not on a finish. I'm not really making a dent in this. 43. Score, right? Sean, Sean you require it says Connor. 12 then for the first set. Double three. Game shot and the first there it set. is, the celebratory clench. Is he, is he, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a big, strong fella, is Sean, and, you know, kind of... Gerwin Price style, he can be vociferous at the 96. hockey. Do you think there's even a, a glimmer of a possibility, Tony, that he that he, Connor was just a wee bit intimidated in that all-important fourth leg? Well, we heard there with, with Paul at the break that 
Sometimes he suffers with confidence now. Somebody roaring in your ear after finishing like that, that could knock your confidence. So if, if you're down at, in the first place, may, maybe that's a factor. Well, he's got to pull his socks up and do it pretty rapidly. 41. And that's not the way to do it. Well, we know he's got the game. We've, we've seen him playing so, so, so well the last 18 months or so. We know he's got the game. Probably never been in this sort of position before. 60. Debut on the big stage. Nice hair, sir. Again. Eight young one. man, 25. It's, it's all a learning curve, really, at this age. Dark players don't really fully develop till probably 40, so he's got 15 years to fine tune his game. Well, I think it'll be done 60. well within that. Current world number one, Peter Wright, is over 50, of course. The world. Of the 140! Of the World Darts Federation as well. There are plenty of very, very good darts players with a lot of years of experience under their belt. Current champion, Wayne Warren. Wow. Pushing 60 now. Yeah, there's a lot of talk in the practice room about that record might be broken this year. 47. Well, he's on a finish and quite a decent one at 96, but if Bert gets a big visit here, well, that's a little unlucky, just the wrong side of the wire. And I think that's high as well. 55. Well, he didn't capitalise, did he? Well, 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 Well-thrown darts, to be honest, as well. The first leg of the second set, but you feel this really has to go. 76 left. 56. Oh, 56. This is a Sean, very makeable checkout. He'll be looking at 19s. Treble single bull. Oh, and that's outside in three. 82. Tops then. Corner you require four. This really is a must take, Tony. Thirty. Well, it was a must take that didn't happen. Sean, you require forty. Great chance for an early break here for Bert. Well, this would put Scott in all Scott in all sorts of trouble if he were able to get this. Tops now. Raised the wire, and again. Four. He actually bent that wire twice then. Can't get Four any closer, can you? Ten. Well, this is a freebie for me. Double one. No Four. score. Well, he's had so many Showing opportunities. 40. And now, tops for the break. Double ten. Game yes, there Sean it the is. First leg, Sean Burt. Connor Scott's vociferous supporters have been largely Game silenced. On. Not too much vocal support for Sean Burt, but those who are following his progress 60. around the world. Keeping an eye on this, I'm sure, are fully aware that this is one of the upsets of the weekend, which is on the cards. Yeah, whatever sport you play, the, 100. Whole, the whole point is to keep the home crowd quiet. He's done that already. He's got that all-important break. Proudly wearing the colours of his native country. 100. With the, map with the maple leaf. Across his front and back. You do get some great viewing positions in this arena. It's one of the reasons that people love the lakeside so much. Hardly a bad seat in the house, is there? Well, we're pretty much uh, up in the up in the God's age on these balconies up here. When this place is rocking, it's full. The atmosphere is second to none. One hundred. What's got to give for a big hit now? 
He's finding one. 121. Hmm. Shame about the uh, shame about the last dart. Sixty. But Scott's now the favourite. Six darts at least from here. Eighty. Desperately wants to hit him and get the immediate break back. It's a good job he hit that treble 19, that last dart. Otherwise, he would be in serious trouble. But Burt's helped 43. him out with that 43. Corner, you require yeah, that was loose. 14. Former champion here, Keith Deller, will, of course, be sitting somewhere saying 138. It's easy. Double 19. Game That's from the second leg. One last four checkout, and it's the break back. Third leg corner to throw first. Game on. Just to uh, amplify that, in case you didn't know, if you're one of the few darts players in the world and darts followers 85. in the world who Keith hadn't told you about that, the 138 was the checkout that he got when he won the world title. He's personally probably told 50% of the world's population anyway, so... Uh. <laughs> 85. That'll guarantee you a text when you next look at your phone, no doubt. <laughs> Arthur played really well at the uh, the World Seniors, to be honest. 97. He did put the work in before he was telling everybody, and uh, he did actually play well. Fair play. In fact, I was impressed with all the uh, the old faces. John Law played well. Bob Anderson played well. 81. The tournament, the tournament was a success, wasn't it? It, uh, it? it sold out down at the Circus Tavern, and I think people genuinely loved seeing... A lot of the old faces back in action. Yeah, we were 59. Blast, we were past. I think one of the highlights of the week was when Bob Anderson, with his last three scoring darts, hit a 180 and gave the old finger down down the hockey. It was a real highlight. It was brilliant. 140. Well thrown darts again. It's usually the sign of an indifferent match when you get a lot of breaks of throw, but uh, well, whether or not you'd consider this indifference is up to you watching wherever you may be. But there's a very real 45. chance here that the third consecutive break in this set is coming up. And if that happens, that'll put Bert on the cusp of a victory. 137. Tremendous darts. He's sitting pretty now. 99. 58 then. To go 2 1 ahead with another break. He'll go 18 tops. Nearly got the treble. It's in the single though. Perilously close, but now. Tops for the leg. 18. Scott gets away with it. Well, he got away with it. Go on, you require 114 finish. And he followed up with the 116 finish. Needed the treble there for double top and couldn't find it. 76. That is it up well, though. Sean, you require 40. How good's your nerve? It up, but is it too late? Game show on the and the answer is Schubert. it's pretty good. And he is a leg away from a massive upset victory. Fourth leg, Sean to throw first. Game on. Again, Connor Scott's fans silenced by that break of throw. And look at this. What a way to start! What could be the leg to win in the match? Yeah. 
100. And he really, really had to follow it up with the 180 himself there, Connor. Already an 80 point lead. Yeah, and there was that roar of triumph when the third dart went in again. Not following it up quite as he would have wished, though. Well, that squares it up. Scott has to break to stay in the match. 81. What he'd give for a 180 now. He's got a break to win the match, but it needs to happen right now. Still trouble this. 60. What I didn't need there. He needed at least a two treble visit there. Bit of knowledge on that table, I would suggest. Fifty nine. He's let him off the let him off the hook a little bit there. Leaves it on that one three eight again. Oh dear, that 45. is not good enough. He's not on a Surely finish, so six starts from eight. here for a victory. A deserved victory as well, to be honest. 100 remaining. 58. Well, serious inroads have to be made now. 89. Well, that's not bad, but Showing this 18, he'd reckon this is going to go. 20s. It's another one of them. Tops for the match. 60. Dragged just low. Now, this is a must take. Corner, you require 76. Just in the tournament. 16 would leave tops. No, sir. No, no, no. Sean, you require 20. Again for the match, double 10. Double five. There it is. There it is. He's made the long journey.